you guys saw, but this year we had the first brown superhero. Did you guys see that? Kumeo Nanjiani? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. Did you guys watch the Eternals movie? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Did you guys watch the Black Panther movie? Yeah. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> I understand now. No, Kumail Nanjai, he's not Indian, but he's Pakistani. And based on the same principles we talk about white people in the context of America, he's Indian. Right? <laughs> and so I saw this article about Kumail Nanjiani, and it goes, Kumail Nanjiani shatters stereotypes with new hot bod. Because he got, like, really ripped for the film. And I was like, wait, how fucking offensive is that, dude? <laughs> Think about that. For other groups of people... Shattering stereotypes might be like an Asian woman becoming a NASCAR driver. For Indian people, you do put two push-ups, and they're like, you are really breaking the status quo, man. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Imagine, imagine if I wrote a headline that offensive, right? Imagine if I was like, white woman shatters stereotype by going to Starbucks, seeing a black guy, and not calling the police. <laughs> Hollywood casting director shatters stereotype by casting... Kumeo Nanjiani. <laughs> be afraid of the phone. I definitely think, I definitely think that brown people, we, know, we need more representation, right? In STEM. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, brown people, we need more representation. I, I'll, have an, I'll have an example for you, right? Like, uh, the other day, I was watching, I tried VR porn, right? Like, virtual reality porn. Has anybody here tried it? <laughs> brown guy in the front, like, I've tried that. <laughs> Uh, no, I tried VR porn, and it's supposed to be very realistic, right? But I'm a brown guy, right? So think about it. I, I, I put the headset on, I look down, and I have a white dick. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, why am I circumcised? You know? Also, what is my stepmother doing here? And why is she stuck in a washing machine? <laughs> but luckily, I took it off, and I was at Brookstone in the mall. I was like, thank God. <laughs> No, that's what I think. I think I think brown people we need more representation, right? That's why I like Mia Khalifa. <laughs> Do you guys know Mia Khalifa? Woo. <laughs> <laughs> I love Mia Khalifa, man. She was like MLK to us. <laughs> no, seriously, they have the same initials, they both slept with a lot of people. Makes a lot of sense, right? I like Mia Khalifa because she was the first brown porn star. That's true, right? Before her, there was no Indian porn, right? Like, back in the day, if you wanted to watch Indian porn, it was really fucked up. It was just Mexican girls with saris and a bindi on. It was fucked up. <laughs> so all the people, all the people who wanted to watch Indian porn back in the day, which I'll admit, were basically just me and Nick Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we had to watch, right? And now Mia Khalifa, look, she, she is not Indian. She's Lebanese, but I figure a Lebanese girl with a sari and a bindi on, that's close enough, right? <laughs> it's close enough. No, I, I, I don't watch stuff like that anymore. <laughs> uh, I, I have a girlfriend, I have a girlfriend. We've been together for two and a half years, okay? And it's good, it's really good. Uh, like, uh, the thing is, when we first started dating, we didn't exactly gel, like, in the bedroom, right? Like, if I had to put it into ice cream terms, my girlfriend is more vanilla in the bedroom, and I want to eat ice cream ever ass. Does that make sense? <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, my girlfriend, she thinks that I'm weird, dude. She thinks that I'm weird just because I like to have sex with my socks on, my hands. Going, oh, yeah, you like that, huh? <laughs> I don't think that's weird. <laughs> one thing that my girlfriend and I, uh, that one thing my girlfriend and I, we started doing during the pandemic was uh, we started sexting. Does anybody hear sex? Not you. <laughs> I you sex. Probably sex with women from Ukraine. <laughs> like I know there's a war going on, but I'm up late. <laughs> no, my girlfriend and I, we started doing this new sexting thing that she saw on TikTok. Right? And that was the problem, because basically what it was, was my girlfriend, she wanted to send me like a naked photo, but also she kind of wanted to make me work for it. So what she did was, do you guys know what slide puzzles are? No. Like a nine piece Rubik's Cube, but 2D kind of puzzle. I swear to God, my girlfriend, she took her intimate naked selfie, put it into a slide puzzle generator, and then sent it to me, for me to do. But I'm like, babe, what you don't understand 
is I would jack off to your jumbled body parts before I do a slide puzzle, okay? Like, I know how to do it too, but if your nipple isn't just one of the squares, I can finish, all right? 